Yes, thank you, Chair Smith. The I-205 improvement project is needed to reduce travel time and spur the economy, but tolling does not do this. Concrete and steel projects do. Clackamas County residents are concerned that after paying hundreds of millions of dollars in fuel taxes and other taxes meant for transportation improvements, they are now facing the cost of tolling on their only main east-west corridor across Willamette on all lanes, no less. ODOT needs to refocus its priorities on critical projects like the I-205. The potential for tolling to go wrong is great. As ODOT struggles with how tolling will be implemented and what it will cost, we see other states like Pennsylvania that has used tolling for decades with ever increasing costs to administer tolling and ever decreasing dollars going to actual highway improvements. We understand that up to 30% plus of every tolling dollar may be going to administrative overhead. What will go to real concrete and steel projects that will actually reduce travel times and make the lives of our people better, not just more expensive. Our roads are a public good that any citizen must be able to access at any time, regardless of their ability to pay a toll. Before tolling the people, the people must have the opportunity to vote on the tolling issue. Clackamas County and its cities and businesses will suffer from tolling and the diversion caused by it. Please, everyone, speak out on this issue now. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you, um, Commissioner um, Scholl. All commissioners will get an opportunity. Commissioner Fisher, you're next. Thank you, Chair Smith. Wow, what a wonderful conversation. And I just have to really thank everyone for participating. Thank you for our guests from ODOT, uh, Mandy and Lucinda. Not an easy crowd this evening <laughs> to hear from. We have a lot of concerns here in Clackamas County. But I, I tell you this type of engagement is where we as leaders can coalesce around what kind of actions we need to take. And just in this little conversation, I'm just thinking of stuff and I give Chair Smith a text and say, hey, maybe we need to be thinking about a bill, a bill that we know you can't toll all lanes. And then as I'm texting her that, our Senator Bill Kenner is chiming in saying, you know, I'm going to be introducing a bill and make sure that the people have a voice. Um, there's a lot of really good ideas about this and, you know, uh, things that I hadn't thought about, I'm sure, you know, all the commissioners could say, oh, yeah, that was something that I hadn't considered. So please know democracy is about engagement. It's about connecting with one another. We um, really shouldn't tolerate a state commission making such decisions that affect, will so disproportionately affect the lives of our residents. Um, at the beginning of when I heard that tolling was when House Bill 2017, I just thought, okay, well, fine, they can toll, but they have to exempt every Clackamas County <laughs> resident. Um, I think that could be my official position, but, you know, press, please don't quote that. I'm being a little bit tongue in cheek here. I, um, I just can't see how it can be equitable. Some real serious thinking needs to go on. Yes, we need sustainable funding into the future but we can't do it this way. We've got to be more creative and more thoughtful. So let's let's make our voices heard. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Commissioner Schrader. Commissioner Savas, um, you have uh, the floor. Great, thank you, Chair. Um, I do wanna just say that um, we have been making the argument, uh, I have been making the argument at the table or the tables in this region about the disproportionate investment in our transportation system. If you drive around the Portland metro region, you can see where the trans transportation investments are obvious. And you can see here in Clackamas County where they're far less obvious. 
the amount of transit lines, the amount of transit service, the amount of improved uh, roads with sidewalks, shoulders, uh, we are we have been lacking for a long time. Um, and this is, has grown and grown and grown in such a way that if you were to examine where the areas in the country or the highways or the metro regions, uh, or even this region, where is the best place to toll, where, the, where there are alternatives, and where is the worst place to toll, I would, I would argue that the I-205 corridor we're talking about is the least repaired and the worst portion of road in the metro region to be tolled because of the lack of alternatives, the lack of a grid structure, the lack of transit, it's, it is unfair and it has been unfair in the investments made in this region. Uh, the other element of this is that it's my understanding that, that the cost to administer the tolling will be in the hundreds of millions of dollars annually. Now let's think about where hundreds of millions of dollars could be put to good use and, and putting good paying jobs and building roads and infrastructure, that's where we ought to be focusing on. And, and, and thirdly, the other thing I've asked for is who, who and where is doing the economic analysis to examine the impacts to our businesses um, and, our, and the people they employ, all of us, um, and how that will impact all of us. I just am very concerned about the economic impacts, our ability as a region to compete uh, when we are actually being disincentivized to go to work, to go to the doctor, to spend, to spend our money, and to, and to travel in our places for the roads we already paid for. I just have, have had a problem. I have a problem with this. I encourage everyone to attend our next town hall. Thank you so much for your uh, joining us this evening. It was great to hear all the ideas. Thank you. Uh, thank you, commissioners. Uh, I would like to reassure the public that this Board of County Commissioners, all five of us, do speak with one voice on this issue. Uh, it, it hits us all. Uh, very near and dear to our hearts. And it's frustrating for the, us as policymakers in our own right that uh, our input was not taken uh, on this. We, you know, we testified in the legislature, but we need to continue. We will continue to be your voice. We listened to you. We heard you all tonight. We'll continue to read our emails as they come in. Uh, we will continue to be sending answers and doing what everything we can uh, to represent this issue. Many of us serve in different roles on this transportation issue. Uh, some of us have uh, direct uh, meetings with MPAC and JPAC. Some of us work on other areas. I work on a different area. Uh, uh, Commissioner Fisher, Savas, Schrader, and, and Scholl, we all are working on this in different aspects because thankfully we have five people to do that. But um, thank you all for your comments. I don't think I heard uh, one caller or voice in support of a toll. Uh, I was keeping pretty good track of that. Uh, very interesting outcome. Uh, Dylan, that's all I have to say. Thank you, everybody.